Hello everybody and welcome to the NLD Center YouTube channel. In this video I will show you how you can easily make props in the Unreal Engine itself so you can use it in your video game. So let's begin. I will start by using the starter content of the third person character but you can start with any game type you want. So let's do that. Okay, we got our third person starter content over here, and we don't need any of this, so I'm first gonna delete this stuff. Mm, okay, and now, what are we gonna make? I think I'm gonna make a road component that we can use with the spline tool. Yeah. Let's do that. For that I'm gonna need a map. Not too complicated, just a simple huge tile. I'm not gonna not gonna shape the landscape or anything like that. So I wanted to have a texture so let's put one on it and say create. Okay, we got grass. And now to make a road, I'm gonna start with geometry, take a box, and I'm gonna scale that box up. Uh, first, I'm gonna give it a different material so we can see it better. Um, road, I'm gonna make the road this. So, there it is, done, no, just kidding, uh, our road, and the road needs sides, so I'm gonna drag in a cylinder, I'm gonna turn it 90 degrees, and shape it up so it fits better in this picture. Something like this. Okay, it needs a different height, so it's going to go to one ninety five, mm, one ninety six, one ninety seven, and that's it. Copy it, paste it. Well, select it again, copy paste. I'm gonna move this to the other side. And we got ourselves some edges. And now, I want to have sidewalks. So for that I'm gonna use the road, copy it. Instead of 800, uh, 8 meters, so 800 wide, I'm gonna make it 300. And that's about it. Copy, paste, and do the same on the other side. So that's it. Just for show, I want to have, I want to get rid of the uh, bottom here. Uh, it's not necessary. Uh, uh, later on in another tutorial, I'm gonna put some meshes underneath the road just for size. Uh, I'm not going into that right now, but it's gonna be back. So this is only for this tutorial. I'm gonna remove it. That's it. The sidewalks are gonna get a different texture. Uh, 
better. The edges are going to get a different texture. And I want a wall around it. So I'm going to copy the sidewalk, make it 400 by 50 by 50. Why? Because we can. Give it a different texture. Go with bricks. Yep, just like that. And again, copy, paste, and move to the other side. Okay. Now, for later on, and this is not, if you only gonna use a straight road like this and you're not gonna make T sections or intersections or whatever, you don't need to do this. You can just skip this part. But if you wanna do that, I'm not gonna explain why, but you need to do this. Copy the walls on the side and just put it on to 50 and lower them two times. You're not gonna be seeing these because these are going to be underneath the level but just for size you need them if yeah i will not yeah okay i will explain why if you remove one part of this so this wall this sidewalk and this edge so you can make a t section onto this road um, and you will save this as a mesh without these three things the whole road is gonna shift to the left so it's not gonna line up with all your other roads that have these three things but because we have the walls underneath the level it's gonna take the outer boundary and make it just the same as the one it's gonna fix up so yeah actually that's it i hope you understand what i mean and otherwise see the next tutorial and i will show you what i mean so I want a nice white line in the middle. Um, got a nice white line and the last thing we need is the pivot and I'm just gonna copy the road again scale it to 0 5 0 5 0 5 oh grab this and put it on the side here Let's see what it, this does. I'm gonna select the pipe first and then the rest of these brushes and then um, I'm gonna make a new folder to start with. We got roads. Okay, over here create a static mesh 
go to road and say road 400 um, that's it underscore mesh undo because if you want to change anything or uh, follow up with more pieces you need the same brushes again so if you create this to a static mesh you lose the brushes and with undo you get them back and still have the road piece you wanted that's it and now we can use it in its spine If you want to put in a spline or, or a mesh into a spline, you need to select the green parts, not the uh, white mountains, so you call it. Um, because if you put it over here, it's not going to line up correctly. It's just going to put in the mesh, not scaled, not nothing, just the mesh. So, for instance, if you put this on, uh, it's not quite of a road to, road to ride, drive on. Sorry, but. Okay, undo that, select all the green parts, spline mesh, add that spline mesh, and while it's calculating and compiling the shaders, we're gonna add some collision. So use complex collision as simple, and for that, for now, we're gonna save it as it. It's still compiling, it's done with the edges, and the road and the sidewalk it only needs the walls so i think i'm gonna wrap this uh, wrap this up um, in further tutorials we're gonna go into the lighting how to set it up uh, with the shaders and stuff like that that but for now yeah we got a road we can use it with the spine tool and as you can see Side the textures and the shadow and overlapping the components the road is perfect drivable it's lined up with those lines the walls are needy and lining up and so i created a lap a track in a short amount of time and still the lines you see between this thing is just the textures that um, yeah do not line up with the shadows and are not built at the moment so we're gonna go into that in the next tutorial and this is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions feel free to ask and i hope to see you next time stay tuned